work from home revolution. People of the world, welcome to Send It Rising. We're going to be talking about how much it pays to work in search in 2022, including SEO analysis, SEO manager, pay-per-click manager, content marketing manager, et cetera. Other news of the day we're going to highlight is Pinterest is testing a new idea pin to highlight specific content. Could that work for you? Meta adding 3D avatars to Instagram stories with updates for Messenger and Facebook. They're really trying to get us all into Horizon World, which is in the metaverse. Facebook also saying that their new supercomputer will be the world's fastest. Is that true? We're going to find out. Top reasons countries ask Google to remove content. Why is it that countries around the world are requesting that Google knock out some content? Let's start with the main story of the day. Search engine land. How much would you guess a paid search marketing manager makes for a remote position? Because remember, the whole world is changing. We're all working remotely. Uh, Fifty to sixty-eight thousand dollars per year for this particular uh, post on January twenty-fourth. They have uh, three locations. Content marketing manager ninety k a year. They are in charge of collecting insights from internal stakeholders. Blah blah blah. Another content strategist position, 58 to 65. So we see huge swings in remote work positions. Isn't that interesting? I find that you've got these local economies, Kentucky versus California, New York versus Nebraska. And if you're in Nebraska, maybe you aren't paying the 90K salary, um, whereas the California country can. Different industries, you have healthcare versus you know a network for grateful living that seems sort of like a nonprofit. Um, senior paid media specialist, 65 to 95K a year. So it just goes to show that as things have changed, we're gonna see remote work, but with wildly different salaries. So it may pay to wait a little bit longer, keep putting out more resumes, try to get that high salary position because you're gonna be remote anyway. Obviously, the company, what they expect from you, um, the interview process, their culture are all important factors. But once you remove location, I mean, my goodness, the cream rises to the top, does it not? So these folks, when they put out these positions as well, they're, they're able to collect, collect. They're able to get in front of talent from all around the world. Um, they're able to collect resumes from uh, all over the world. And so their pool of potential folks that they can work with is massive. And so because that's the truth, um, it's a little bit tougher if you're trying to land that job. But the flip side is now you're working remotely and your pool of potential folks you can work for has also increased dramatically. So what can you do to make your resume stronger? I always recommend a website. Yourname.com is really strong. That way you can show folks, hey, here's my website. It's all about me. It's basically a resume. And... You know, it shows that I can build a WordPress website. It shows that I know basics about SEO, graphic design, etc. Show them through your website. Pinterest tests new idea pin highlighting uh, specific content. This from socialmediatoday.com. Seems like a logical and obvious update for Pinterest's new idea pins. As shown in this image that I'm looking at, I'll explain what it looks like. Pinterest is testing out a highlights element for idea pins. So basically... We're looking at a pin. I mean, honestly, it doesn't look any different than any sort of normal pin to me, but apparently you're able to, ah, there it is. It's a little plus button that says new highlight. So if you're on Pinterest in your profile, you'll see a little plus button, click on new highlight. The article continues, idea pins are currently displayed in posted order on the created tab on your profile page where they remain in perpetuity, enabling creators to get more value out of the platform's stories like offering. I'm interested in this um, because recently, uh, just yesterday, 3,300 views on my Instagram reel, about 90 likes, and I'm up to 25,000 views on a recent TikTok I did. And so I'm starting to get a lot more love online. It's been years that I've been trying to you know, get things to go viral and that sort of stuff. And finally, what's working, and I know this sounds crazy, but barefoot electric longboarding with a suit jacket. You know what I mean? Isn't that crazy? Like you work and you work and you work and you try and you do this and you do that, you do this and you do that. And then eventually you're just like, you know, I'm just do the wildest thing I can think of. I'm going to grow my hair out. So I have a man bun and uh, I'm going to barefoot electric longboard. And maybe then they'll pay attention because the content itself hasn't changed at all. But 
by that I mean the message is the same. Um, but now it's being delivered by this person that is, there's no one else on the planet that's doing that, right? So you become unique and all of a sudden folks are like, oh, I like uniqueness, it's novel. So anyway, I am interested in this um, highlights Pinterest sort of deal because I was getting good um, traction on Pinterest for a while. I'm wondering if my videos would, oh, would do there, do, would do, excuse me, well there. Meta is adding 3D avatars to Instagram stories with updates for Messenger and Facebook. It's a step towards the company's concept of the metaverse. This one coming from TheVerge.com. So these 3D avatars are being added to Instagram stories and direct messages um, because obviously they're trying to get folks interested in identifying with their avatar in the metaverse. According to the article, people in the US, Canada, and Mexico can appear as their virtual selves in stickers, feed posts, Facebook profile pictures, etc. I don't know if you're familiar with Bitmoji. I'm a huge fan of Bitmoji because uh, my fiance and I are able to have these avatars that change. And if you know what Bitmoji is, you're thinking, yeah, yeah, I know. But trust me, it's awesome. I love it. Um, you can add different people. You can change everything about you. Having these avatars is great because you can have the other avatar do something, right? So for example, like me and my fiance will be like sipping a cup of tea or doing this or doing that together. And it's just hilarious. Or like throwing a Hadouken, Street Fighter. Uh, quote, this is from Meta's general manager for avatars and identity. Can you imagine having that position? Since revealing our long-term vision of the metaverse at Connect 2021, we've continued building out this next evolution of social technology, building towards a future where you can sit in the same room as loved ones who are actually thousands of miles away. So it's very cool. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're thinking of having whole teams together and doing this whole song and dance. At the end of the day, um, the metaverse is going to be huge. I don't know if it's going to be the metaverse as uh, Zuckerberg envisions it or if it's going to be his metaverse. But um, already, I mean, you just take a look at Switch. You get three of your friends, you're hanging out, there's four of you. You just throw on Zoom and you're playing Switch together um, across uh, the world, it doesn't matter where they are so they're trying to get the avatars to be a thing i get it um facebook's meta says new supercomputer will be the world's fastest uh this according to learningenglish.voanews.com facebook's parent meta says it has created a, a powerful supercomputer that it expects to be the world's fastest when it is completed later this year the company recently announced the computer will be used to create better artificial intelligence models and improve operations that process huge amounts of data. Obviously, companies like Meta, um, they get a lot of flack for their social policies. They get a lot of flack for um, not taking down hate speech. There's a lot of things that these companies are doing wrong. What they're also doing is massive hardware um, infrastructure, right? Um, if you take a look at it, company like TikTok storing video on my Mac, I can tell you that's not an easy thing to do. It slows down the computers. It's It can create a volatile atmosphere. It's it's rough holding on to all that data. It's incredibly difficult to do. And at the highest levels, um, here we have you know Facebook and Google. Now, the counter argument, obviously, is they have infinite money. Kellen, why would you even uh, take a moment to uh, empathize with them. And what I'm saying is it's not Zuckerberg that's doing this. There's a team of very smart people that are in charge of this. And I'm thinking about them in specific. Um, the company, excuse me, the uh, article continues that the company did not provide information on where the computer is being kept or how much money is being spent to build it. Uh, but it's being trained to recognize different kinds of content and perform actions examining huge amounts of data. I did a TikTok on this recently where Google My Business listings will go down. And when we talk to the engineers at Google, I'm sorry, when we talk to the customer service representatives at Google, uh, they will simply say, um, we are gonna bring it back up, but that does not mean that they're gonna fix the problem. Um, what it means is that the AI can absolutely turn around and just take it right back down. Um, so this is the nature of the world we live in right now where the AI trumps what the individual is able to do. Um, point being that uh, we gotta watch out for machine learning, that's for darn sure. Final article of the day, the top reasons countries ask to remove content. Which country has sent more takedown requests than any other country? This is from ZDNet.com. Google is the world's number one search engine with a 92.4% market share according to Statista. It is not surprising then that the number of takedown requests made 
to Google by countries around the world continues to grow as our reliance on the internet keeps us online. Um, I did a post recently on George Defteros. Um, you may have seen that episode where he successfully sued Google in Australia uh, saying that they bear responsibility for the listings themselves. He won $40,000. Netherlands-based VPN company, according to the article, Surfshark has analyzed these files to see which countries have asked Google to remove the most content. And we have Russia. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Russia, way above everyone else. 31,384 requests. Now, mind you, China's not on this list because China does not have Google. And so you have to take that into account. Obviously, next up you have South Korea, then India, then Turkey, but way ahead of the pack, way ahead of the pack is Russia. And their reason is national security. Oh me, oh my. Let's recap the news of the day, shall we? If you want to get a job in search marketing, I don't know, you're looking anywhere from 50 to 110, $120,000 a year. More or less, these aren't director management roles, right? These aren't director level, I should say, roles. Um, these are senior SEO analysts, 70 to 140K a year, senior paid search specialist, 80 to 100K. Uh, director level is gonna be higher, assuming that the um, company you're talking to can um, or is large enough to have those sorts of roles. So it's a decent um, sort of place to find yourself. And what's interesting about it is you can train yourself up in those areas. Um, this isn't plumbing. You don't really have to go to school for it. Um, it's all online. You can figure it out. You can get clients on your own and learn these things. Pinterest testing new idea pin highlights. You might want to check those out if you're on Pinterest. You're, you might see Instagram avatars um, from the metaverse. Um, keep an eye on that because Facebook is desperately trying to get us uh, to buy into that. Facebook's meta says the new su supercomputer will be the world's fastest. We will see if that is true. And um, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that you are loved. If you want to check us out on TikTok, it's at Send It Rising. Just type in Send It Rising. You'll see us all over the place. If you've made it this far in the video, you are my hero. Love you. Proud of you. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.